Do you ever wonder how some of the top Fortnite pros like Benji Fishy managed to keep their building and editing mechanics smooth, confident, and even consistent throughout their games, even when they're in 20 plus player in games with laggy servers? Bunch of crush summary where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. And today I'm so excited because we're gonna be going through some of the best ways to ensure confidence and smooth building to outplay your opponents in Fortnite. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Okay, so our first tip for all of you players out there is to make sure you know when to use certain building materials. Knowing when you should be using wood as opposed to using hard materials such as, you know, metal and brick is just so important, guys. Because if you're playing during in game and someone sees you tarping in wood builds, they're gonna know three things. They can shoot you out and just laser you easily. Okay, so they think that you're probably low in materials since you're not building with hard mats. They can probably get inside your tarp with ease and really shoot you in the back. All three of these are weaknesses that can get you eliminated, but they're insanely easy to avoid. And so all you have to learn is that you want to mainly build in hard mats during end game so that you are properly protected from enemy fire. This is why you see pro trios always asking to give their teammates hard mats so that one of them can just tarp towards the circle, with the others just using their remaining wood to really peace control and just fight enemies wherever they can. So during early game guys, it's just more or less the same idea, you know, except that you want to try and save your hard materials for late game. So when build fighting and just trying to take high ground, you know, it's just probably a better idea to use your wood and really save your metal. So if you start using the correct materials in the correct scenarios, your games are going to be just a lot more consistent since you're going to have enough hard materials to last during late game, really ensuring better placement since no one can just super easily just shoot you. So when you figured out the right building materials to use at the right time, you're going to need to know how to actually take the fight to your enemy. All right, you want to know how to learn like super fast? Well, all you need to do is head on over to our website, ProGuys.com where we've got a ton of pro coaches ready and waiting to train you guys one-on-one -on -one so you can improve faster than ever. So another simple and effective way to become more confident in your builds and in mechanics is to learn and master all the basic high ground retakes. Learning all these retakes, guys, is going to help you so much in your build fights because once you practice them all, it's going to become a part of your muscle memory and take height on your opponents will eventually just come naturally to you, resulting in easier eliminations. Once you've learned the basic retakes, guys, you should definitely try and find the lesser known retakes that can throw any skilled opponent off guard. If you keep using the same retakes, they're going to probably become quite predictable. So knowing a wide variety of ways to build a height without taking any damage is extremely useful in 1v1 fighting scenarios. Just going into, you know, a creative lobby and just getting to grips with all the high ground retakes can take you to the next level. So we aren't going to just go too in depth on which high ground retakes you should learn since we already have a video explaining why high ground retakes are so useful and which ones you should definitely start using right here. So make sure to check out that video so you can just become a master at retaking height over your enemies. So not keeping track of your materials all throughout your matches is one of the easiest ways to get yourself eliminated. However, it's also one of the easiest weaknesses that you can instantly fix. So if you start keeping track of your mat count, it's going to start influencing the decisions that you make in your games. And don't only factor in your mat count alone, like before you start spraying someone down, also question whether the zone is just going to affect the fight, whether or not you know, you're going to get third party whether you have enough loot, and so on and so forth. So take all those ideas really into account before you just take on the fight. If you still decide to take that fight and you still lose, you're definitely gonna know it was an educated decision and you played your best. If you win on the other hand, yo, it was most likely because you were aware of all the factors beforehand and you knew the fight was going to be in your favor, which overall made you 10 times more confident in your building and fighting skills. So this way of thinking is essentially called game sense. Yeah, and if you have a good game sense, you're going to be more confident in yourself overall, knowing what you should do and when you should do it. And when you get that, man, you feel unstoppable. You know, game sense and confidence go hand in hand. And if you want to build and fight with confidence, guys, you need game sense and knowledge. And if you want to be smart and have a good game sense, you need to have confidence in your decisions and predictions. Bunch of crush army, it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we want to know how good you are at building a Fortnite. Like, are you the sort of player who can construct a five bedroom mansion within like a few seconds? Or do you struggle to put up even the most mediocre shack in the middle of a fight? Be honest, let us know. We're not here to judge, we're here to support one another. All right, back to the video. The key to smooth building and editing is 100% of the time, your crosshair placement. The reason why crosshair placement is so important is because it judges how far you have to move your crosshair to edit walls 
or how far you need to move your crosshair after editing to shoot your enemy. And so one way to improve your crosshair placement is to understand how to quickly edit. And so in editing, you only need to go over the corner of each blue tile that you need to select. Once you know this, you can quickly move from one tile to the next without even moving your mouse a lot. Also in editing, try to finish your edit with the crosshair as close as you can really get to the opponent's body. This is gonna keep them visible as possible and even means that you don't have to move your crosshair too much to flick into their body and shoot. Another way to improve your crosshair is by using Xanax 60's Crosshair Placement Edit Course. This is pretty much a regular edit course except it shows you where you need to place your crosshair while editing. If you play this map frequently, it will pretty much rewrite your muscle memory and get you to start editing tiles by only selecting the corners. All in all guys, crosshair placement is super important if you want smooth and confident builds since it decreases the time it takes to edit by so much. This means it will also improve consistency as you're going to make fewer mistakes since you're faster and overall really just boost your confidence in game so you can build faster than your regular enemy. So following on from the last point, if you want to be confident in your builds, then you need to understand peace control and how you should implement it into your fight. Peace control is arguably the most important mechanic in relation to build fighting. The best way to practice your peace control, guys, is by far Raiders 464's peace control edit course, which has been loved by the competitive community for a while now. Playing this map to warm up or just simply practice is one of the best ways to really stay sharp and will keep your confidence in your builds like sky high all throughout your competitive arena games. The map has multiple levels that will show you a wide variety of different peace control techniques that you can use to get on top of your building abilities, with each one repeating a couple of times before throwing you back to the map's lobby. So repeating each peace control strat like this on the Raiders map will allow you to build up your muscle memory, which will really just let you throw out amazing peace control in the middle of real fights without you even having to think about it. And so after you completed all the levels, you're gonna be given the ability to just, you know, free build on the map, which will give you even more time to really hone your building so it can become as smooth as possible. Bunch of crunch army, it's time for the recap. All right, check this out. Make sure to build with the correct materials, otherwise enemies are going to find it easy to break into your tarps during late game and shoot you in the back. All right, next up. Stay on top of your high ground retakes and use a variety of ways to retake height from your opponent so that you don't become too predictable and easy to block off. All right, next up. Keep an eye on your material count, guys, so that you're never gonna run out in mid-fight and just send right back to the lobby. Having a good game sense is a staple to being more confident in your game, man. Making sure you don't make impulsive decisions and always try to stay alive for the victory out. All right, make sure to have good crosshair placement to keep your building and editing mechanics smooth. And stay sharp, man, with your peace control mechanics and consistent eliminations become second nature. Bunch of crush summer. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the tips that we have for you to successfully make your builds with confidence, consistency, and being smooth in Fortnite. You know, building is absolutely the most important thing to learn in Fortnite. You know, it's it's the mechanics that really separates Fortnite from every other battle royale on the market, and really what makes it so interesting and enjoyable for so many people. And hopefully, by following the steps that we provided today, man, you're gonna be able to improve in your building in no time. If you guys liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy man i love you guys i'll see you on the next one peace